The Bronx Zoo is a place of exploration and fun, and today it also becomes a hub of information and inspiration for the families of local children with diabetes. This is really an opportunity outside of the medical setting for them to understand what they're going through. And here they get an opportunity to really explore. They can check out all the different pumps, for example, different technologies. Over 10 tables were set up providing information to families from technology to local resources, including an opportunity to speak to people that understand what they are going through. I was diagnosed with type 1 in 2015. At the time, I was uh, performing um, in The Lion King on Broadway. Kyle is now the founder of Kyle Cares, improving health outcome for people of color living with type 1 diabetes. This is why we do what we do. Um, connecting with families is a, a huge part of how we um, uh, see making an impact in this space is, 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 is possible. The annual event in its 10th year had returning families like Esonia and her son August, diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at the age of 4. Some people in this room are experiencing what I'm experiencing. Some parents are experiencing what mom is experiencing. And it just feels like, you know, I feel like I'm, I belong here. All these things, I know growing up, um, you would think that you wouldn't be able to do. He knows he can do it. So um, that's so insightful and inspiring. According to the American Diabetes Association, over 300,000 Americans under the age of 20 are diagnosed with diabetes. But today's event is a reminder that they are not just a statistic, but also a success story in the making. Reporting for BronxNet, Jonathan Calixto.